God is calling us in this day to a place of higher levels of maturity than we've ever walked in before. This is the maturity that brings us into the fullness of the measure of the stature of Christ so that we can demonstrate the sonship of God in a way that will respond to all creation groaning. Up until this present time, during the age of the church, we've been walking in a very, very low level of functionality. This is really brought up in the scriptures when Jesus told his disciples, I have so many things I want to tell you, but you cannot endure them all right now. When he was preparing the disciples for his departure from the earth, he said, I'm going back to the Father, but don't worry because I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit comes, he will be the deposit or the earnest down payment of your future inheritance. That word deposit is actually a real estate term. And what it literally means is a 10% down payment to secure our future ownership. That means in the last 2,000 years, the church has been operating in what we would call a 10% level of functionality. We've been operating as very immature Christians. But glory be to God when the Lord broke us out of the age of the church and initiated the age of the kingdom. He began to open up to us the mysteries of God that have been hidden in Christ since the very beginning. According to Ephesians 1, one of those mysteries is Christ in us, the hope of glory. That mystery is that the God Almighty who created all of the universes, all of the galaxies, everything that has ever been created, would fold himself up so small that he could put himself inside of us. The good news for us is at the beginning of this year, which is a year of great breakthroughs, that God who folded himself up so small that he could put himself inside of us is now beginning to unfold. We've been in this very low level of maturity for a reason, and that reason is that to everything there's a time, a purpose. To everything there is a reason, and even to the low level of maturity that we've been walking in, there has been a purpose. The Lord could not reveal to us the fullness of our sonship and the glories of the dominion that he designed us to walk in until we reached an age of maturity. If your son came to you and said at three years old, Daddy, I want the keys to the car, are you going to give him the keys to the car? I don't think so. And the reason is because he is not yet responsible enough to handle the car without doing damage to others. If the Lord had revealed to us in the very beginning who he intended and created for us to be and what levels of functionality he designed us to operate in, we would have already destroyed the earth many times over already. We are now entering into the age of maturity or stepping into an acknowledgement and awareness of our sonship in God. In the age of the church, we were taught we were just human beings having a spiritual experience. But the real truth of the matter is we're actually spiritual beings having a human experience. We're just passing through here. It's a momentary flash in the pan. But the things that the Lord is opening up now, which will give us the keys to the gates of the mysteries of God, are so much bigger, so much higher, so much greater, so much more powerful than anything that we have ever walked in before that we're going to be completely and totally amazed. In order for us to be prepared to step into that, we have to give ourselves to God in whatever place, in whatever capacity he desires, and in whatever measure we can in order to yield to the high calling that he has put on us as the manifested sons of God. The record of yielding to the presence of the Lord is something that we have to pursue. We have to chase it until it actually breaks through. If we try to yield too soon or we try to do it under our human strength, we'll not be at the place that we need to be because we have not yet reached that place of breakthrough. 
there is a place called breakthrough. And when we break through into the mysterion of God, we're going to be completely overwhelmed by the power that he delegates to us governmentally to rule and control and take dominion over all of the earth. It's only in this place of breakthrough that we can actually yield to him totally. Hi, I'm Nancy. I just want to thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed what you heard, like and subscribe our YouTube channel. And if you're interested in lengthy, deeper teachings concerning the mysteries of God, contact us at sons.global and partner with us as we become co-workers and co-creators together with God for the establishment of His kingdom and His righteousness in all the earth.